Hi, my name is Shailesh Singh and I make videos and podcasts on all things in cardiology. General cardiology, cardiovascular imaging, recent advances in cardiology, recent controversies in cardiology. So make sure to subscribe for more of that. In this episode of CardioEd, we'll be talking about Paradise MI trial. Paradise MI trial was published in New England Journal of Medicine in November 2021. And it was also presented at American College of Cardiology Virtual Annual Scientific Session in May 2021. Paradise MI trial assessed the safety and efficacy of sacubitril velsartan compared with ramipril in patients with myocardial infarction. So why did the investigators think of using ARNI or sacubitril velsartan in patients with myocardial infarction? Patients who survive acute myocardial infarction are at risk of developing symptomatic heart failure or premature death. What we already know is that Velsartan decreases the risk of death and heart failure in myocardial infarction patients with LV dysfunction. It was thought that neprilysin inhibitor sacubitril might add incremental benefits. So patients were randomized in one to one fashion to either sacubitril valsartan in the dose of 200 mg twice a day or ramipril 5 mg twice a day. This trial included approximately 5600 patients and they were included in this study if they had a recent acute myocardial infarction with an ejection fraction of less than 40% plus one of the following. Either the age was more than equal to 70 years or atrial fibrillation or estimated GFR less than 60 or diabetes mellitus or LVEF or LV ejection fraction less than 30%, ST segment elevation MI without reperfusion or more than equal to KLIP class 3. Patients were excluded from the study if they had an eGFR of less than 30 or they were clinically unstable or they had prior heart failure. 2800 patients were randomized to sacubitril valsartan and 2800 patients were randomized to ramipril group. Mean age of the patients in both the groups was 64 years. Approximately 25% patients in both the groups were females. 75% patients in both the groups were whites. 10% patients were North Americans in both the groups. 12% patients were Latin Americans. 30% patients belonged to Western Europe. 26% patients belonged to Central Europe and around 20% patients were from Asia and Pacific region. Mean systolic blood pressure in this study was around 120 mmHg, whereas mean diastolic blood pressure in this study was around 73 mmHg in both the groups. Mean ejection fraction in both the groups was around 36%. 16% patients in both the groups had previous PCI or CABG. 4% patients had history of previous stroke. 65% patients had hypertension. 40% patients had diabetes, less than 15% patients had atrial fibrillation. Of all these patients, approximately 75% patients had ST segment elevation MI, 25% patients had non-ST segment elevation MI. Approximately 70% patients were anterior wall MI, whereas around 20% patients were inferior wall MI. Patients were on good guideline directed medical therapy. Around 95% patients received statins, more than 92% patients were on dual antiplatelet therapy, more than 85% patients were on beta blockers and mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists were given in more than 40% patients in both the groups. The trial has found that there was no significant difference in the primary composite outcomes in the sacubitral velsartan and the ramipril group. The primary composite outcome comprised of death from cardiovascular causes, hospitalization for heart failure, and outpatient episodes of symptomatic heart failure. Cardiovascular death, all-cause mortality, and heart failure hospitalization were not different between the two groups. Edwards events were similar in both the groups. Hypotension was 29% more common with sacubitral valsartan. There was similar discontinuation rate between the two groups. Discontinuation in the sacubitral valsartan group was more commonly due to hypotension and discontinuation due to cough was more common with ramipril. The trial is concluded 
that in patients with acute myocardial infarction complicated by a reduced LV ejection fraction, pulmonary congestion or both, there was no significant benefit of secubital velsartan with respect to primary outcome of death from cardiovascular cause, first heart failure hospitalization or first outpatient episode of symptomatic heart failure. This was the Paradise MI trial. We'll meet again discussing some more recent advances, innovations and controversies in the field of cardiology. Till then, bye.